Independence Day everyone, my name is Peyton Macy's, welcome to Anycast. Today we're going to be looking at my top 4 4th of July films. These films are great, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, but let's get started on the rankings. At number 4 we have Rocky 4, At this is just the best all American Rocky film out there. This movie works well for 4th of July, considering the fact that the Soviets were long-standing enemies of America and, of course, other parts of the world, but mostly the U.S. during the Cold War and such. We see the great Rocky Balboa fight Drago the Great in one of the greatest Rocky films of all time. And number three, we have Jaws. Now, Jaws actually takes place right around the 4th of July, as the giant shark is strangely attacking beachgoers as they get too deep in the waters. This film is an American classic and circulates around the 4th of July really really well and not just the 4th of July but also summer in general. This movie is just a fun one. It takes place at the beach you know, good summer movie taking place at the beach and it's a just great thriller all around. In number two I have The Sandlot. Speaking of the summertime, we gotta talk about The Sandlot. I mean, The Sandlot is really just one of those films that captures um, the youth of a boy, more so the spirit of youth and friendship and brethren and all this different type of stuff like that. This film shows the neighborhood league of baseball players as they bond and have some amazing friendships throughout the summer. And we kind of get to see them at the end go on into other things. It's just a great movie. And of course there is a 4th of July scene in here. At number one we have Top Gun Maverick. Top Gun Maverick is a thrilling movie. And it is one that makes you very patriotic. We see Maverick return to the Air Force. As he coaches this new batch of all Top Gun graduates. They have to pull off the impossible mission and save the day. There are some really great side stories that play out during this movie, such as Maverick's relationship with Goose's son Rooster, Maverick going to see the very ill uh, Iceman, and everything just, you know, wraps up beautifully in this movie. It's just a great, great summer fun movie that really works well to watch on Independence Day. Now, before we even end this, I have to mention a TV show season that could be considered a movie. Why could this be considered a movie? Well, the Duffer Brothers themselves actually said that each Stranger Things season in their vision is an independent film uh, that's a little bit longer than most films. So, of course, Stranger Things 3 would be a movie. Stranger Things 3 is by far one of the coolest seasons. It's my favorite season. Uh, and it takes place from July 1st to July 4th, so it works really well to watch around this time of the year. And it's just a really fun, heartwarming watch. I hope you guys enjoyed my short ranking of all of these. Please let me know down below what did you guys actually think about these, and what are your four movies for 4th of July. And also, do you agree with me that Stranger Things 3 is a movie? With all that being said, peace out, and have a great day.